Uh, now, you have your own uh, story to share. Uh, folks, I, I need to mention it's obvious that he, uh, Mr. Smith here is, um, uh, doesn't want to reveal his, uh, his, uh, 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 identity. His, his identity. Uh, because of, I guess, fear of reprisal from this county, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he does have quite an interesting story to tell us, so why don't you go on here, Mr. Smith, if you will. Tell us about your incident uh, with, uh, with Williamson County, Texas. Well, I've always heard about Williamson County, uh, and, and I thought people might be exaggerating, but until it hit me head on, and uh, uh, I had a situation where I was just uh, uh, leaving, from my ex-wife's house visiting my uh, children and I stopped at a stop sign and I know uh, there's an officer about two blocks down the street uh, where I was at he couldn't see where I stopped at and, and uh, when I went ahead and turned uh, he turned he, he rode right by me and then turned around and stopped me and I asked him why, the, why he stopped me when I made a complete stop at the stop sign and uh, he said well I'm not gonna give you a ticket but I just want to take your driver's license and 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 uh, uh, he tried to say I didn't make a stop, but when I, when I told him I saw you and you couldn't see where I was at because you was too far down the street, he just said, well, I'm not going to give you a ticket, but we're just going to check your driver's license. And they checked it, and, and then they said my license was suspended. Now I was right around the corner from my uh, ex-wife's house, and I had a cell phone, and I, I told him, well, uh, he told me that he had to handcuff me, and they had to take me down. They called another police officer there. Uh, they cuffed me like a criminal. They, you know, got two or three police officers there. They handcuffed me in front of everybody. Uh, you know, and they just made the situation look way worse than what it was. And uh, it was just a bunch of stuff that was really un unnecessary. I had uh, my work clothes on. I had a lot of equipment in the car, and I, I had a rental car. And I asked him, I said, well, this is a rental car. Can I call my ex-wife? Uh, she's just right around the corner. I just left the house. It's right around the corner. You can see the house from here. And uh, he was like, no, we got to impound your car. And so they went ahead and impounded the car, and they went ahead and took me down. They kept me down there, Jeff. For, for, I stayed there about two days. Uh, they held the equipment that was in the car. They tried to say it was stolen. The rental car place, we... Uh, uh, got a hold of the winter car place. They tried to get the car that day. They would not let them get the car because they said it was holding it because they thought the equipment might have been, been stolen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's almost humorous, but it's a sickening humor. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know I got this mask on, but it's because I don't trust the legal system. When I had to go back to court, uh, me and a, a friend of mine, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a black man, and... Uh, Officer rode right by, turned around, just like last time, stopped me, stopped us both this time, and 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 uh, we was on our way to the court this time, and I had him drive because they said my license was suspended, but anyway they stopped us and and the guy got out of the the, the his vehicle. We asked him what he wanted. He he had nothing to say. He said, "Well, tires like it's kind of low on the on the vehicle." Is that what he That's said? What the reason to stop was tires was low. That's what he said. You know. Well, so I want to just clarify for people that made it. So you were one day you were driving uh, up in Round Rock, right? You had a rental car. You had right. some uh, equipment, some television equipment okay, right. in, the, in the car with you. You were uh, pulled. You were st what? Pulled over, stopped. Yeah, I was pulled over, stopped. Okay, okay. and uh, there was a problem with your driver's license. Now explain it. Why? Well, why your driver's license was suspended? Well, I, I had Swiss insurance companies, and I had to. Uh, keep an SR-22 for like six months to a year, and I thought I didn't need it anymore. So when I switched insurance companies, uh, uh, my old insurance company got dropped, and according to the SR-22, you're supposed to inform your, whenever you switch, just inform them, so they, you know, reinstate your, so they keep it with your license for a year. So I didn't think I needed it anymore. And when I got the new insurance, I didn't get the SR-22, so my uh, insurance got suspended. Now, all I had to do was just show the uh, the license plate that I had insurance and my license was reinstated. It was one day process. As soon as I showed proof that I have insurance, my license reinstated the same day. And pay, I had to pay $50, I think. Okay, uh, now because of that, uh, when they, key, I guess they keyed in your license plate, it's, it's so because of that, then they, they impounded the car. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, uh, basically declared that the equipment, the television equipment you had in your, in your car, mm -hmm. 
uh, had been stolen. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, um, um, well, you went to jail for, what, two days? Two days. It was on a Friday. I didn't get out till sometime Saturday. Friday morning, I got out Saturday night, Saturday evening, and uh, couldn't get the car out until Monday. So we had to pay for the rental car for the weekend at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and couldn't get out Monday. And, uh, you know, it was just costly for me all the way around. I had to pay a $200 fine to the court system. And after all that, the man tried to give me a year worth of probation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, don't, I'm not laughing. It's yeah. just ridiculous. Okay, so, yeah. so, after, so what did you say when, when, they, well, he, when they said they wanted, they wanted to give you a, a year's probation? Well, he he said that uh, they... What did you say? I asked him, I said, a year worth of probation for what? And he said, because your license was suspended and we stopped you. And this is usually like one of the things they do for everybody. And I was like, well, I know what my situation is. All I got to do is just uh, go down to the driver license place and show my insurance. And my license is going to be reinstated. And... Uh, um, and then I asked him about the probation. I said, what do you, you know, probation like what? And he said, well, you have to come in each month, check in. You got to pay $115 a month for a year. <laughs> $115 a month to be on probation? $115 a month. Yeah. And yeah. come in and check with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. This is Williams County, all this is going on. Huh? So what's your general perception of this place? Uh, I think they're out to get money. And uh, from most people that I've heard that have been in there, when I was in there, similar cases. Uh, I had one guy told me that he uh, called the police out there, and they ended up taking him to jail. <laughs> he called the police. Him and his uh, girlfriend was having a dispute. He said, look, he's going to do the right thing. He's going to call the police, get his stuff out of the house, and leave. Well, when the police got there, they took him to jail and took his, uh, his girlfriend to jail, and then turned the kids in over to the state. I was talking to the officer when he was taking me down to Williamson County, and, I, and, and he told me, he said, he know that there's crooked lawyers, he know that there's crooked officers, and he know the judges, the judges are crooked. He said he's seen a case where the lawyer that that person was in jail paid that actually went up to the DA and said, what do you want to do? He said he's seen it with his own eyes, and he was a sheriff. You know, he also told me that they teach the sheriffs down there to know what you want to do to the person before you stop them. Yeah. So when you stop them, you know you're going to take that person in jail, whether you have a valid reason or not. And yeah. I was like, wow, that don't make sense. But he said that's what they teach the officers down there. You're guilty to before and before proven innocent. Right. They've already got their minds predetermined what they're going to they try to pin on you, and that's it. Yep. Yeah, that's a common theme amongst all these testimonials. So you think it's out of control then? Yeah, it's way out of control. It's way out of control. Yeah. And uh, what's the sad thing about it is they're full of people's lives and, and people's homes and careers, and, and it's like they don't care. As long as you got money, you can pay your way out of it. If you don't, well, you're going to pay by sitting in there for time. You know? And it's a pretty sad situation. Well, thank you very much, my friend. All right, man. God bless you.